Yo. Yo. So, I actually completed the ritual. I just started it. It's going down. It's moving very like very very good. Going very good. I spent like wow. I spent hours setting this this um this ritual together, y'all. It took a lot of energy out of me. Um, the formulas that I put together is like phenomenal. I brought in a lot of um a lot of um deities which are like your DNA dealing with fertility, beauty, um, uh, courage, bravery, war, mainly focusing on love and harmony, mainly focusing on prosperity, abundance, mainly focusing on, you know, um, the four elements, fire, water, earth, air, whatever. See the different rocks. I don't know if you can see the different crystals that's all around it. On each candle is like so many sigils, so many like gods and goddesses' names and sigils and Amazing. I got it color coded starting with the green, the red, and the white. The white candle is like the conductor, makes it all happen. The green deals with the um, prosperity and abundance. The red deals with love and harmony. The white kind of like amplifies it all, it's like the conductor. And the two black candles in the back are the candles of, you know, the banishes all of the unwanted energies, as well as, you know, um, fights to make sure that these gods and goddesses can come forth or whatever. And basically, the different strategic rocks like the Lampus Lupis, the Quartz Crystal, the Jade, the... Uh, you know, the emerald, the different colors, different rocks that I did in the back, the moonstone right there, all this with like love and harmony, where then you have like the ruby, you know, um, the uh, emerald and other crystals that I have up there dealing with prosperity. And then you have dealing with vanishing and war, you got the cornelian, you got the obsidian, you got the copper, you got the sheet, the sheetless stone, which is this right here. The egg, Shiva Shakti, copper, obsidian, onyx, jet. So, you know, got my cookies right there. I gave them some cookies, something to eat. I've already given them a fruit sacrifice. See the pomegranate, you see the uh the plum uh the plums and the lemon burning and Cones right here, vanilla flavor for some of the deities to love that. This is for the 144,000, yo.
because I love my soul group so much and you know it's important for us to take advantage of you know the energy wise still here so this was Friday the 13th this was um, Capricorn the moon in Capricorn yo might as well smash and take advantage of that I'm like grateful that it's finally done. <sighs> Believe it or not, I'm actually tired now. Like I'm super sleepy. That took a lot out of me, yo. Like, but the Tupac, the Tupac songs, I listened to Tupac this whole time, yo. And the whole time, like, you know, Pac just kept me going and shit. You can see that these energies are really hard, yo. Like, this is high melanin magic. Serious, serious candle magic right here. Color schemes, dealing with the numerology and colors. The green, the red, the white. The two uh, backdrops and the two black candles in the back for banishing and for protection and war and shit. Yo, that is like so powerful. And then you can see the energy that's coming off of each one of those candles is high vibrational. You see that? That lets you know right there, yo, that this is real. This is high magic right here, yo. Then, to be honest with you, I'm doing a ritual, the dinner ritual. I'm going to let you know that I didn't, I didn't anoint my candles with essential oil like I normally would. Um, I anointed it with my own personal essence, all right? Um. So I anointed the candles with my own essence, my my own fluids. You know what I'm saying? And um, just to be real with you, I have some water there, a, a, a container of water, because the container of water is um is is bringing in that the water element. You know what I'm saying? It's bringing in the water element. So everything is everything. This shit is real. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got my herbal magic here. And all kind of shit, so it's official. Basically, what you see me doing right now is I'm chopping up some sage. 
some sage leaf and some nakchamba incense i'm chopping it up um i've already dressed this candle right here with my own personal essence again and then i'm about to roll the candle in the sage as well as the nakchamba incense and then i'm gonna place this on um this ritual that i have right here now I wrote on the paper bag right here. Uh, I actually did this for myself and it worked for my whole entire, it worked for me, my woman, and everyone in my immediate circle. So I bear witness that this shit works. This is actually what I'm gonna do for my entire soul group, the entire, the one, the 144,000. This is a lazy energy vanishing spell. So it says, lazy energy, I free you from me by the power of free, so mode it be. I proclaim, declare, and decree a full pardon from thee by the power of free, so mode it be. Signed it, timed it, and dated it. All right. Folded it up. I wrote it on a piece of paper, brown paper bag. Brown deals with the earth element. It is... Um, it is, you know, the closest you're going to get to earth dealing with paper, that brown paper bag. You know what I'm saying? So, left hand the best hand, for sure. Um, you know, because I'm dealing with correction, I wrote it in red ink, signed it in black and red. And so I'm going to put this under the candle. And I'm going to also put the copper on top of it and I'm gonna put a piece of obsidian I'm gonna put a piece of copper on top of it and a piece of obsidian on top of it and I'm gonna set the candle on top of this you know what I'm saying the candle holder on top of this and then I'm gonna su surround the candle holder with three chunks of tiger's eye and here's the tiger's eye just so you can see three little small chunks of tiger's eye See what I'm saying? And and basically what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna surround the 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 the, the, the spell and the three chunks of tigers on each side with the candle on top of this right here. You know, and the candle I'm gonna actually anoint it again and roll it in the sage. And roll it in the um, knock chamber so that as the candle burns, it also burns chunks of knock chamber and chunks of sage. Sage is a uh, herb that good that's good with banishing um, unwanted energies and shit. And this is a banishing spell, getting rid of you know um, lazy energy. So this is for my entire um, my entire soul group. And again, all of these crystals have been. Um, They've been cleaned, they've been regated with energy and charged and um, unlocked using words of power and keywords. So you know, I just want you to be um, mindful of that. So that's what's going on right here. <sighs> Yo, like I'm just I'm like super, super like, you know, tired right now. Not just tired, but you know. Just doing this and the research and everything, it took a lot out of me. It took a whole lot out of me. I didn't actually write on this candle. You know what I'm saying? I didn't actually write on this candle right here. But maybe I should have. So this is what this looks like with the chunks of sage and the knock chamber on it. And I'm going to just right here. I'm gonna go 
go ahead and put this in this candle holder right here. That's, that's it though. So I got a ritual going on inside of a ritual. A lot of things going on. This is the jar of water right here. Just a little quick jar of water. Just to bring in the water element. Candles, of course, is the fire element. You got earth all over the place. Everything around you, you see, is earth. You know what I'm saying? The crystals are earth. Um, the cookies, all everything that's around is earth. I gave them fruits and I gave them some cookies just to give them some energy, just to bring them in. I didn't have the alcohol. I drank all my last little alcohol and shit. I've been working on my alcohol, so they have some alcohol for this ritual. But you know, um, I went ahead and did the water libations, and um, we gave them their props. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I put so many gods and goddesses, like, hardcore ones, though. Like, the real ones. Not no you guys, gods and goddesses. And not no common names that you might know. Even though I, I named a few that I was going to put. You don't even know these guys right here, yo. These gods and goddesses is not, you're not familiar with these gods and goddesses at all. But these gods and goddesses is like... Hands down, the ones, yo. They're the ones. They're the ones. Put it like that. You know what I'm saying? When it, when I, when I put the, uh, when I get the ones for the vanishing, I got all of the babies. I got all of the hardest of the, the warrior gods, and put them on them black candles right there, yo. I have so many gods and goddesses, names. And sigils written on those candles right there. It's like, yo, this was a serious ritual. I feel like everything just like, you know, spinning. I feel like the energy is, is so high and vibrational right now. It's like, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. But the candles are burning real good. You can see the energy. Yo, you can see the energy of each candle, yo. They just like going so good. This is some real high candle magic right here, yo. Color schemed. Got the right herbs down pat. Every, every herb that I picked was dealing with love. Harmony, prosperity and abundance, and um, power and protection. So, in each rocks that I picked, match those same properties. So, you know, this shit is real, bro. And then I got the ritual going on inside the ritual, dealing with the balance and the lazy energy. Just to let my soul group know, yo, get your ass up and get back into this motherfucking war. I listened to Tupac all the way, the whole shit, the whole time I was preparing this shit, I was listening to Pac, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is, yo. It's time to fight these motherfuckers, man. I'm thinking about going on the fast, yo. Like, like seriously, man. 
I'm getting ready to just say, fuck it, y'all. Just go on the fire show and just... Let's see what it is, you know what I'm saying? But, whew, oh, oh, that was a lot of work, y'all. The energy is coming off of them candles so hard. That shit is amazing, yo. Yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. High magic, high melanin magic right here. This is only for melanated beings this magic won't work for you if you're not melanated and i ain't talking about in your skin i'm talking about in your mind and this is only for the 144,000. this shit won't work with you if you're an imposter or a traitor or you just want to put a title on your shit this shit ain't gonna work for you i'm slaying you know right now but this energy is for my soul group yo and we are really going to enjoy the power and the benefits from this ritual right here, yo. I promise you that. More rituals to come. Um, I'm preparing a ritual as we speak, dealing with the four elements and mastery over each four elements. Um, so I'm about to get ready to turn off the lights and go ahead and enjoy the burning of the candles and sit back and just be in the stillness and the quietness and the nothingness and the chaos, but naked and just, you know, um, enjoy, enjoy, you know, enjoy whatever, whatever, you know, the spirits want to teach me, wherever they want to bring me, whatever dimension they want to take me into and teach me and just learn and just, you know, quiet down and just see if I can hear some things. So, you know, I love you when I need you to survive, yo, 111 it's no longer Friday the 13th, but, you know, hey, we did it before. We got it in before Friday the 13th, so, you know, I'm enjoying this shit, yo. It is what it is. Again, like I said, I, uh, I anointed or addressed these candles with my own personal essence. And, um, in fact, I teach at the University of Cosmic Mysteries in Dark that once a month, or once every three months, the crystals that you work with the most, you're you you wanna you wanna anoint them with your own essence, your essence. Women, I'm talking about with your vagina essence. See what I'm saying? Men, with either your your semen, your cum, or your urine. Anoint your rocks with your cum or your urine under the moonlight. Women with your with your vaginal secretion, with your, your juices, your fluids. Anoint your crystals under the moonlight with your fluids. That is the most powerful way to anoint your crystals, yo. Once you do that, to charge them, they'll work for you, yo. According to, you know, because they align themselves with your DNA. That's like some ancient shit that we got away from that we need to get back to. You know, so, oh, huh, freedom. So it is what it is. It's ah, look at the beauty. Look at just how vibrant this shit is. Even this one. Lord Kitty Osai broadcasting to you from the invert verse. This is an Alpha Omega report. Get your shit together, yo.